Hi all. Uh, I thought I'll make this video just to explain how an arthroscopic Latage is done. So there are two methods of doing Latage. One is the standard screw technique where I fix uh, the bone to the screw and the other is the screwless technique. Um, the normal, uh, the one I do is uh, with something called as a fiber tape loop and I'll try to explain how we do this. Watch. This is the shoulder joint and this picture shows the ball in the socket which forms the shoulder joint and this shows how the, the joint is in place we can see the collarbone or the clavicle in the in the front and then we can also see the small piece of bone that's a clavicle which i'm showing and that is something called as the ac joint that is a the ball on the head and there's a socket there and those are the muscles the muscle called the subscapularis in the front of the shoulder and that uh, now coming to the small piece of bone in the front that is a coracoid process it is a coracoid which we normally cut near the base and that is a base of the coracoid. I cut it there and place it in front of the socket. So the marking shows where exactly I cut the coracoid. Then we make a split in the subscapularis muscle in the front. So like that we split it then expose the socket. So this is how a normal socket is. In a normal person you can see it is almost like a pear shape. Here is an abnormal socket where because of multiple dislocation we can see a loss of bone and this is how the latage helps. This is screw latage where you can see the coracoid being fixed and this is the screwless latage system where you can see through the screw I fix it with a uh, tape.